Wilson Morales from Black from the TV. Hey, folks, how's it going? Good. Hi. How are you? Eva, you know, obviously, we've seen you in front of the screen. We've seen you produce. But this was your first one. Why this story? Why this be your first one? You know, I uh, I was sent the script by my agent, and uh, I fell in love with Richard Montañez's story. It was inspiring and complex, and and he was Mexican American like me. And I was like, why don't I know this story? This is this is like my people. Uh, I think everybody should know this story. And so I became obsessed with. Uh, wanting to get the job. I was like, oh, I'm the only one that can do this. Um, and I knew right then and there this was going to be an opportunity to write a love letter to the Latino community. Um, you know, Hollywood defines what heroes look like, and they never look like Richard Montañez. They mm. never look black or brown. And so for me, I thought, oh, what if I could create a hero that our community could look up to that sounds like my dad, that looks like your tío, that um, was a familiar face. And um, that's what we set out to do, and that's what we ended up making. How did you get involved, Devon? Um, you know, I found the story uh, about seven years ago. I sat down with uh, Richard, you know, Montañez, who the movie is about, and a mutual friend connected us, and I didn't, you know, he said, hey, I, I have your next movie, and I was like, okay. You know, I didn't take it seriously, but because it was him, I took Richard seriously, and so me and Richard and Judy, his wife, uh, met in my office, and I just said, tell me your story. And as he started telling me a story about starting as a janitor, working for the factory and for Frito-Lay and Rancho Cucamonga and you know all the things that he ultimately did, by the end of the meeting, I just said, this is inspiring me. I mean, Richard, you are an inspiration. And, I, and how did you endure all that you endured? And I was just so compelled by it and inspired by it. I gave him my word in that meeting. I said, uh, uh, yes, we're going to get your movie made. Now, at the time, I had no script. I had no studio. I had no director. But I just believed in him. I believed in the story. And that's why, uh, you know, I connected to it. So even when you said you got script the script, was it to be in the movie or was it to direct the movie? <laughs> that's what he said when he got the no, call. It was to direct. It was to direct. <laughs> but I thought she wanted to be in it. I was like, well, which part, you know? <laughs> uh, did she want to play Judy? Really? Okay. But no, it was but, all about directing. No, no, so I was saying. What's your takeaway now? Having directed this movie, you know, you've seen, you've been in front of the screen for so long. I'm sure you've seen a lot of people direct. Now, you, you know, what are the challenges you faced? What was your biggest fear that you got over as you did this movie? You know, my greatest fear that fueled me was uh, failing the Latino community mm. or female directors. Because if I didn't get it right, studios go, oh, Latino stories don't work. Oh, we hired that woman that one time. She wasn't that good. Um, and so I felt the pressure to, to be excellent every single day for them. And so I carried them in the room with me on set. Eh, that whole community was with me on set every day going, you got to get this right. You better get this right. <laughs> um, and we all felt that pressure. We, we, don't, we don't get that many bites at the apple. You know, the last movie about us and by us was like 20 years ago. And so we can't have a movie every 20 years about about our stories. Um, and so I felt that pressure every day. Um, but again, I, I used it to, to, to uh, really show up as my best self, put the best work in, make the best movie we can, and then turn it over to, to the universe to, to do what it does. And <laughs> right. luckily, it's been landing amazing. We've yeah. had just so much success already that we're, we're blown away and full of gratitude for it. Job well done. Congratulations. I was actually at the Annapolis Film Festival. Oh, oh nice. yes, we won. Nice. And, uh, <laughs> you know, and got a good applause out there. So congrats to you. Congrats to the mom. Obviously, you know, let's hope this is not a one and done because sometimes you get a lot of actors yeah. and directors and then you don't hear from them again. So we want to see more. We want to see more of these stories. We want to see you behind the camera. Thank Absolutely. you. Wilson Morales from Black Film TV. Hey, folks, how's it going? Hey, Wilson. Ray, well said, Wilson. I'm sure you hear that all the time. I'm sorry, I had to. <laughs> yeah, hey, that's okay. We're all good. <laughs> you know, when you take on these roles like this, uh, and obviously it's based on a true story or inspired by a true story, how much research goes into it outside of the script that you got? Jesse? I mean, I, I met with Richard and his family, and we kind of, like, talked about um, life and family and uh, his story. And I, I, mostly me, I got, like, little details and stuff like that about the relationship, pet names, nicknames, stuff he carried in his pocket, stuff like that. Annie? Yeah, for myself, there you know, there's not a lot of information about Judy online, so it was really important for me to get um, a one-on-one -on -one with her and build a rapport so I could understand who she was, who she is, so that I can help inform the story. 
Now, growing up, did you ever have those? Like, you know, uh, you know, I walk. I live in the Bronx in New York, and you know, sometimes I'm in certain areas where you see them on the store, but you don't necessarily go after it and you know pick it up unless you're at a party and you're hungry and you're like, okay, sounds good. You know, what about yourself? Did you ever try it before you started doing this project? Yeah, but I was five years old when I had my first hot Cheeto. <laughs> I, I miss that boat. You know, I, I grew up on normal Cheetos, like original Cheetos, like the orange Cheetos. So like I, I miss that. And then by the time Cheetos came around, it was uh, uh, I was already eating pretty clean. What's the takeaway from this film? Obviously, you know, we're getting to know this story, but we're also seeing the story of a guy who, you know, who, who took chances, you know, who didn't want to you know, uh, play the game and had a vision and got that vision, you know, because he met the right people, you know, out there, you know, is, is there a story outside of, this is the story of how this, it got started. I don't understand the question. Is there a story, is there something more that's universal out of this film as opposed to, oh, this is the story, how the, how the flaming hot st Cheetos got started. Yeah. It's a love story. Yeah. It's a love story between Richard and Judy and it's a love story for, uh, for the community. You know, and it's also a love story that transcends any cultural lines that um, that everyone can relate to. For you, uh, Jesse, obviously this is a big role for you. What's your takeaway when you you know when you do this film and you get to be more on pages than you have in other projects? What do you take from this that you can do, that, or what have you learned from doing this movie that you can take on to your next project? Both of you. Um, I mean, I I, I always felt like I. I had it within me like mm -hmm. it's a lot of endurance, you know, to, to do a movie like this and it's and it, it does beat you up but um, you know, it's I've been doing it for so long that I uh, I, I Feel like I'm, I want just want to do more of it. You know, what I mean, I just want to tell more good stories and um, um, That I have I think the one thing I did learn from it is that uh, my opinion counts but when you know that uh, Eva and Devon both asked me what I thought, mm -hmm. you know, what were my thoughts on things, and and they made me a part of the collaborative effort of shooting a movie and making telling a story as opposed to just like stand on your mark and say your lines. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Annie, I you know I think the interesting thing is both Jesse and I have been in this industry for twenty plus years, so it's not our first time at the rodeo. You know, we've always been capable and able to do this kind of work. We just haven't had very much opportunity to do so. And I think with stories like this, with people like Devon and people like Eva, and thank you Searchlight for giving us this opportunity, this is only gonna open more doors and we love what we do. So of course we're ready to get down and dirty and gritty with the work. Congratulations on the roles, congratulations on the films. I'm sure we'll talk again on other projects. Take care of yourselves. Thank you Thanks. Wilson, bye.